Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about how I address the front high suspensory syndrome, which is, as we all know, an extremely common, frustrating, challenging area to manage in the racehorse um, and in, event, in uh, performance horses. I, unfortunately, my mantra is every horse either has had a high suspensory, has a high suspensory, is gonna have a high suspensory. So it's really common just given what we're asking of these horses, and I'm not talking about limping lame injuries, I'm talking about soreness, shortness of stride. It's an area that becomes sensitive, and it's an area that's really, really amenable to management using um, this type of therapy. So again, we talk about what's the um, anatomical depth that we're looking for, approximately an inch and a half. So I'm gonna go with a 40 millimeter offset probe. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to treat from the outside, from the lateral aspect today, but um, there's um, no reason why you can't treat from both sides. Up here where it originates, we got a nice contact. As we migrate down, you'll hear, I'm, sometimes I'll lose contact and I'll have to press a little bit harder to conform this probe to the skin surface. It's not a big deal. And then I split the treatment up between standing and flex, and I'll show you how I do that here in a minute. I'm starting off at level 10 for safety purposes. We're at eight clicks per second. As expected, he doesn't have any problem with that. I'm gonna go all the way up to 15, test him out. He's fine. And I'm gonna go up to 20. So I start here and I'm gonna put about 1,500 clicks standing, slowly uh, migrating down. But if I don't, listen carefully, hear that? I've lost contact. So because of the contour of the leg, you have to just press a little bit. You start up high again and you go down, making sure you have con contact. I'm putting a little more pressure on as I'm getting into this area to make sure I keep the contact. But remember, with ultrasound gel, if you push too hard, you push the gel out from between the, pro, the um, offset pad and the horse, just like when you're scanning for diagnosis, and you lose your, uh, that beautiful contact. Okay, so that's, that's how I do it standing. Obviously, um, it's the same on the suspensory branches. Here you would choose a 20, a 20 millimeter offset, because it's much more superficial. And on the branches, you can even use the linear, the linear offset probe, which is really great because you can get a nice contact here with the linear probe. So this, is a, this can be a little cumbersome. Sometimes I'll have my assistant keep the leg up. But with a little bit flexed, you can get right into this, right into the uh, insertion. You don't want it too flexed where you can't get the probe in. You want it down just a little bit, like this. Get nice contact. And you see how it fits right in beautifully. So you see how I'm slowly dropping distal on the leg. Okay. Uh, Mark, if you'll step him up one little step, I'll show you what I'll do. What I generally do is I'll catch the inside of the opposite leg while I'm on this side before I've turned the horse around. You start the same way, you're the insertion, and you drop it down slowly, following the contour of the leg along the suspensory ligament. This is where the ability to increase the number of shocks is really helpful because really a minimum of a 4,000 shocks on each leg is, is, is where I believe you get the most um, uh, best results. Uh -huh.